Joining me right now is an old buddy. He's the Director of Communications for TBARDA, the Tampa Bay Area Rapid Transit Authority, and uh, that's Chris Jaddick. And, Chris, thanks for being on with us here this morning. And I uh, want to get an update on transportation here, how you all are coping with the coronavirus situation. Well, Jack and Aaron, good morning to you. I hope you're all doing well there. And I want to thank you for the, the service you're doing to keep the lines of communication going. We're impacted like most everyone else is. We continue to work remotely on regional transit projects that have milestones and deadlines later this year. But right now, more important than anything, our focus is on employee and public safety. t wants to make sure we do our part to avoid spreading this virus, and we're encouraging everyone to follow the guidelines as recommended by our federal, state, and local officials. Yeah, that, that's a very good idea. And what are some of those things when we're talking about passenger safety, for example, here? What are some of the steps that you all are taking here moving forward? Well, first, I want to give a shout out to our local transit providers because they're the ones who are keeping the public safe and they're keeping our transit going. They are to be commended. They're exceptional. You know, public transit is a public need, and the people who provide it, those bus drivers, the maintenance staff, the people who clean and sterilize the vehicles overnight to provide extra safety during this outbreak, they're on site right now. They're on the job. So for those who need to get to work or to the doctor or to family, reliable public transit is a necessity, perhaps more so during this crisis. I hope your listeners will join me in thanking them for their commitment to this important service. As for what's being done, there's extra sanitation procedures at all of our local transit providers, Hart, PSTA, Manatee, Pasco, Hernando counties have been in contact with them. I know that they've stepped up with their cleaning and sterilization procedures. Those are just some of the things they're doing to make sure that if you need public transit, it's going to be as safe as possible. I saw something about buses are uh, you, you can ride free because they don't want you to have to make contact with the drivers. Is that right? That is true. Two of our local transit providers, PSTA and Pasco County Public Transit, they've gone fare free starting this week for the foreseeable future. That's going to minimize contact with the driver. It makes it safer for both riders and our our dedicated transit employees. It allows the riders to enter the vehicles from the rear doors. Now, you should note that Hart Hart has driver shields on all of its fixed-route vehicles. That already minimizes that contact between the driver. They have those safety precautions in place. A lot of the other agencies are putting those in place. I don't know what the status of them are individually, but I do know that Hart has those driver shields on all the fixed routes. There's that added layer of safety there, too. What about passengers once they're on the bus next to other passengers? Is there, we know we've been told to stay six feet away from people. Is there any uh, instructing of that going on on the bus? Absolutely. We'd ask all transit customers, follow good hygiene procedures as recommended by the CDC. Practice social distancing when you're on board. And if you're sick, please stay at home. Yeah, that's critical. If you're sick, you don't want to get on uh, any T-BARDA vehicles whatsoever, for sure. And I guess once this is all over, we can focus once again on maybe some innovative new kinds of transportation for the Tampa Bay area. You know, we'd love to talk to you about that. We've got a lot of projects in the work. We've got our Envision 2030 project. That's our 10-year plan to develop world-class transit in our five-county region. That's due to FDOT later this summer. You know about regional rapid transit. That's our bus rapid transit project along I-275, connecting Pasco, Hillsboro, Pinellas counties. And we've got the innovative transit technology study that I think you spoke to our Brian Facero about last week. All those have milestones and deadlines because once we're over this COVID-19 situation, whenever it is, we know that traffic congestion is going to be back. We need transit solutions to help us get where we want to go. We're focused on that. Of course, that's in the future right now. Most immediately we have to deal with this situation, and we want to keep people safe. Yeah, very good, Chris, and thank you for joining us on AM Tampa Bay this morning. I appreciate the time. You guys stay safe.